Can you feel it, folks? Can you feel the... Can you feel the justice? Can you feel the positive aura? Can you feel the salty? Can you, can you taste the tears? Can you feel karma? I, I know I do. This has been an amazing week for me. Amazing. Like, comment, subscribe, everybody. Sports Live in the ATL Fitness and Sports Channel. Comment. Let me know what you think. Click the like button. It helps the algorithm. Share it out. Get everything out there so all you amazing people can hear this amazing content. San Francisco 49er fans are ghosts. That's factual. Ran their mouth all season. Ran their mouth after the, divi after the divisional. Ran their mouth after the NFC Championship game. Ran their mouth two weeks leading up to the Super Bowl. And now you can't even find one. They're breaking televisions. They act like YouTube don't exist no more. They act like Twitter don't exist no more. They're just embarrassed, humiliated. They're, it's, like, it's like their heart has been pulled out of their chest. Their tongue has been ripped out of their mouth. And they're humiliated. Because we all know, folks, that if the San Francisco 49ers then choke another Super Bowl, that they would still be on here running their mouth. We we couldn't load up YouTube fast enough to watch all the gloating, the bragging, the laughing that would have commenced. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna keep poking the proverbial fat bear. I said, I'm going to keep provoking the proverbial fat bear until we all get what we want to see. And a couple people out there have just gone incognito. Had a lot to say leading up, but now all of a sudden can't speak. You do know how this works, folks, right? You do, you do know how this works, right? It's embarrassing. You're embarrassing yourself. All of y'all are embarrassing yourself. Just come on, take your medicine, and then get the hell about, on about your day. Me, personally, I could care less what, what is done. I want to see it, but I'm having a fabulous time just laughing and poking the bear. And I will keep poking the bear until I seem fit to stop poking the bear. Now let's talk about Kyle Shanachoker, folks. Kyle Shanachoker is doomed for sports failure. You know, people on the ESPN and all these shows and whatever can debate on whose fault it was that the Niners choked another Super Bowl, but it's all Kyle Shanachoker. I'm the one that came up with the name Kyle Shanachoker. I trademarked that sucker. I, I, I should be getting paid royalties for that because ever since he choked away 2016 Super Bowl for my Falcons, I have cursed that son of a bitch and Dan Quinn for that matter. He hadn't won anything either. I have cursed both of them for eternal sports failure because they took something away from me. We can say People can say all they want about what Matt Ryan should have done or the defense should have done or Dan Quinn should have done. I mean, I admit it. I mean, it takes it. Regardless of what Kyle Shanachoker did, the Falcons could have made one stop because the defense is not Kyle Shanachoker. I don't care how tired you are, but they couldn't make a stop. I wish the overtime rules were, uh, were implemented back then to where we would have got a chance. But all in all, justice is continuously being served. Atlanta is happy. The state of Atlanta, the state of Georgia is happy that Kyle Shanachoker continues to fail in San Francisco. And the Niner fans see it and are sick and tired of it, right? I'm pretty sure you are. It is Kyle Shanachoker's fault that y'all lost another ring. Since he has been in San Francisco, not only did he choke a regular season game to my Falcons in San Francisco, I think it was 2018, but he has, and I stand corrected, it was not three Super Bowls. Kyle Shanachoker has choked as a Niner coach. It's two. Oh, my God, like that makes it even better. He's choked two Super Bowls as a Niner head coach late in the fourth quarter and in overtime. He has choked an NFC championship game with the 49ers, leading in the fourth quarter late. And then what he did here. How do you not know the rules, sir? You know, the, people are debating, well, the players should know the overtime rules. That is true. 
but the guy who runs your team, who is in charge of the players and the coaches on your team, even if the players are dumb as rocks, should be like, hey, you know the overtime rules, right? Before overtime started, you know the rules, right? Late in the fourth quarter, when they tied it up, when they were going to tie, Kyle Shannon Choker should have said, hey, you know the overtime rules, right? What kind of leader is that? I mean, you got a guy that says that he didn't know the overtime rules. You got a guy that lost a fucking playbook here in Atlanta for the Super Bowl and had to find it. Who does that? For all the exciting plays and the genius that is named Kyle Shanna Choker, he sure can't perform those genius plays in the clutch. A missed block in the Super Bowl could have given what? Or lack thereof. Remember, they, I think they were talking about that block late on that drive where they had some guys wide open, what, Ayuk and Jennings? Well, Devontae Freeman missed a block, right? He got Matt Ryan sacked. But if Kyle Shannon Choker would have run the damn ball three times, we would have had a conversation. Falcons would have been Super Bowl champs. If Kyle Shannon Choker would have run the ball against the Falcons as a Niner coach in that regular season game late in San Francisco in 2018, they would have won that game. If Kyle Shannon Choker would have run the ball against the Bears, whatever that was in the NFC Championship game a couple years back, whoever the hell they were playing against, the Rams, I think, they would have won that game in advance to the Super Bowl. If he would have ran the ball against the Chiefs four years ago, after that 21-10 lead in the second half and going into the fourth quarter, they would have won the Super Bowl. If he would have ran the damn ball on Sunday, they probably would have won the Super Bowl. Kyle Shanna Choker is one of the most arrogant pricks I've ever known. He, he's, he's all flash and dash to get to the point of winning, but then when it comes down to what you got to execute, he's still pass happy. He is too prideful. Why do you got to be trick played and try to keep passing the ball when you've already done what you had to do to win a Super Bowl? That's what Bill Belichick does, runs down your throat. I mean, against us in the Super Bowl, the Patriots were just running the ball down our throat. Belichick didn't try anything cute, just kept running the damn ball. Kyle Shanachoker did. That's the difference between winners and losers. But Kyle Shanachoker, as long as you're head coaching in the NFL, continue to make those stupid plays so I can continue to be laughing at you. Because I love laughing at you. I love the pain of Kyle Shanachoker walking off the field looking like a defeated zombie. I love the Niner fans who talk so much shit gone ghost. But we all know y'all are going to come back at some point and come up with some immature, dumbass comments. But that ain't going to take away the fact that we are all laughing at you. And your Niners are no better than my Falcons. No better than the Eagles. No better than the Lions. No better than the Packers, Cowboys, Washington, Tampa Bay, Carolina. You're no better than any of us, Bears. You did not win the Super Bowl. I don't care how far you fucking got. Nobody crowns runner-ups. And I'm going to tell you, with the way that this Niner fan base has gone ghost because they did it, they did it last year. They did it in the NFC Championship game against the Rams. They did it four years ago, ran their mouth, and then they lose, and then it takes them months to come back and actually talk. I got no respect for that. Other people might. I got no respect for that. Because if you're going to run your mouth while it's going on, you need to man up. I came here immediately after the Super Bowl crushing loss in 2016 and did my crow. I came on in 2012 after that crushing loss to the Niners in the title game did my crow. Kind of choked up a little bit too. I came on the day after the Super Bowl loss in 2016 on Norbcam. I don't hide. Where are you hiding? Where are you guys hiding? That's the sign of maturity and a man and sportsmanship. And you ain't got it. But all that ghostness makes me happy. It makes everything validated. And it means I will never take y'all serious. Not that I did anyway. So Kyle Shannon Choker, keep failing. Keep choking Super Bowls. Keep choking title games. What you do in the regular season don't mean jack. If you don't, post the Lombardi. Thank you, Kansas City Chiefs.
for beating Kyle Shanna Choker twice. Thank you, LA Rams, for beating Kyle Shanna Choker. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one.